Hello there, welcome back to uh, week six. They've been pretty busy again. The small extension is going up pretty nicely. The floors are in. I can't actually get in the house at the moment, but the floors are actually uh, going up. The steps are in there. So it's looking good. And uh, if we go up here, and go round. They've been pretty busy along here. The pipe work's going in along there. And yeah, I can't get in the house at the moment because I think the floors are all still wet. So I don't even chance it. Plus I'm locked out. So um, there's no going in anyway. So the garage base is in. We had some trees cut back and cut down. There was one growing out the wall just there and uh, we've obviously got a big problem with the church tree there, the chestnut, and we're actually meeting a church warden tomorrow to discuss the church wall as it's a shared maintenance and also it's the wall, once, once you repair it, it's going to come straight down again in a couple of years, so we need to discuss that with them and uh, get that sorted. So, yeah, the floors have gone in, as you can see, and the door now is blocked up. So all looking good, or rather, or rather not really. You can't live in it yet, which is a shame, but I'm, I'm still excited about it. And this is a strange house really, because Although I say it's 17th century, it does date back to the 1600s. There's so much that's unknown about it, like this part here, they believe it was built 1920s, around about that time. Whereas the chim chimney up there, that's not original, that was probably built around about the same time. So, but this main part here is the 1600s, but I love it, it just tells so many stories or untold stories and I was talking to one of the church warden's wives who come over, lovely old lady and uh, she was just telling me about the history, obviously in this field here they've done digs and stuff going back to the Iron Age and the church is actually mentioned in a doomsday book. So this place around here has got so much history. She actually said we might find some bones in the garden, but uh, we've not found any yet, apart from the gravestones, mysterious gravestones, which I will be returning to them. But there you go. So, yeah, we've got these still lying around. I'm going to put them to one side and hopefully get that load of stuff over there burnt this weekend so one big bonfire possibly when someone's wedding's on now nah, I'm only joking I wouldn't do that so anyway yeah all looking good and uh, catch you later for week seven next week bye bye